What insult have your parents said? That is stuck in your head as an adult. Half man half mattress my old man when I wouldn't get out of bed edit. For those asking, he was being amazing and funny. 1990, I was 16 and had to get up at 4.30 for work, he got me up and out the door every morning. A nice wee story. You can't even laugh right, my mom in a weird moment I thought we were bonding. There's something inherently extra evil when someone tells you your joy is wrong. What did I do to deserve a fat kid? Like a half a century ago, my mother and I were talking and the topic of someone's eye color came up. I forget who. I sincerely asked, what color are in my eyes? They are sort of a gray-green. She looked at them closely and told me, sort of a hit brindle. I still bring that up from time to time. Mom was talking to dad about me while I was right there. I was bullied in high school and it had an effect on my grades. While discussing my education she said, look at him. Can't you see there's nothing in there? Just look at how he sits there. He can't do this. He's not capable of more. This is it. He's. Nothing. It gave me a drive and motivation. It also gave me a constant need to prove myself. Edit. I never imagined this to get so much replies. For the people wondering. This happened almost 20 years ago and I have now found peace with what she said. My mom has a lot of mental issues but Shetri's her best. She's made a lot of progress and is. Still working on battling her inner demons. And in the end. She has since done a lot more good than bad to me. I will never forget what she said but Eno longer hold it against her. People shouldn't always be reduced to their worst moment. My little brother was drowning, I tried to save him but also almost drowned, we got rescued by a neighbor. My mom told me that they should have left me in the pond. I haven't spoken to her in many years. I sometimes wish your seizure killed you when you were two years old. I'm a waste of sperm apparently. Not sure what else they're doing with their sperm but. Okay, edit. This is my most liked comment. Dad when I was about 10, if I kill you, I can make another one just like you and no one will notice. You're so annoying. Said to me as a young kid while I was expressing enthusiasm over some new interest. Later my father complains I never tell him anything. In 7th grade, I was learning how to write better poetry thanks to an awesome teacher. I was so proud of a collection I made, so I let my mom read it. She asked me, do you need to be put in a mental asylum? I was so upset and as I was growing up, I didn't share any of my art with people, regardless of the medium. Even now, I still hear how serious. She was when she asked me that. My mother said lots of things like that. I'll just talk about one of the most memorable. While I went to go inside the corner store, she stayed behind in the car. Outside the store was a kid that had a crush on me. He grabbed my SS and I bitched him out. My mother saw all this. In the following days and weeks she basically accused me. Of being a loot, implying that I somehow invited it. She tried convincing my father of this, told her co-workers about it, everything except being a mom infuriated that someone touched their daughter like that. My parents divorced when I was young and they hate each other. My mom would call me my dad's name when SHE was really upset. What makes it worse is that I confided in her that I never wanted to be like my dad. She used that ammunition against me. The only reason I had kids is to serve me, I only wanted one boy and one girl, Itch had three boys. She told me I was acting just like my father when I would get upset. I would just get kinda pissy and sulk. He would go on rampages and scream and hit and throw things. He pushed her down the stairs once. I would never lay a finger on my current partner. The worst part is I looked just like him. I was. Wondering if my mother always expected me to turn into my dad. I prove her wrong every day. Edit. Thank you to everyone who shared their own stories. It's good to know I'm not alone. Also, toth people suggesting I had previous partners I would actually abuse. I can understand the wording could have been better but how dare you. My father said to my mother when she finally left them, the only one of the three kids that has done any good is the middle one. I'm surprised that the other two aren't in jail, flushed. You're too goofy. Guys don't want to date a girl who's funnier than they are. Not exactly an insult, I guess, but it did stick with me. What's the best response to a Christian saying, you're going to hell? Judge not, that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce you will be judged, and with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Matthew chapter 7, 1-3. It makes Jesus sad when you say that. 
shrug, say, okay, and walk away. You not caringrels them up even more. See you there then. Yeah, well, that's just like, your opinion man. See you later. A skater boy dropped this one on holy rollers in college, the rest of us thought it was absolutely brilliant. The Australian thing to say is, get act unt. Where? Act like you've never heard of it, concede a known of the authority or credibility they are used to having. What do you mean, after I die? How can I go somewhere after I die, I'll be dead. My what? Do you see these souls often, friend, is one in the room right now? Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just, then they will not care how devout you have been, but will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods, but unjust, the end you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you will be gone, but will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. Marcus Aurelius. Aren't we all already here? According to your god, so are you for doing his J.O. ban judging. What is the most unusual thing you find attractive? This is super specific, but one of my exes used Tovery quietly read aloud to himself anytime he was studying and I could have listened to that for hours. Shoulders. Yeah sorry high school girls I'm the guy that the school administration was concerned about. I think a woman looking tired and no makeup at Allen the morning is super attractive. I do not think my girlfriend believes me. Cold sweat smile. A man's voice when they first wake up. I have always been fascinated by people's hands, not in an exclusively in a sexual way, but in a strange manner where I feel like someone's hands tell so much about a person. But to speak more to the point of this thread, I do find hands to be extremely intimate. Holding hands is such a wonderful embrace, during passionate. Moments caressing is often the biggest turn on form, and so I am always conscious of both my hands and theirs. I think I feel towards hands the way people do about feet, which is odd as I am wholly indifferent to feet. When a girl stands with one foot tilted on its side. When you can see a bit of her ear poking through her hair. It just gets me. I love it when I say something in a silly voice and the girl replies in the exact same silly voice. Big square teeth and pointed canines. So sexy. Beautiful women driving hitty cars. His neck, his beautiful neck. What computer feature don't most people know about? Windows button plus V brings up all copied text and pictures, the amount of people I've taught this in workspaces as they thought computers could only copy one piece of text at a time. Control plus backspace deletes the whole word in one go instead of having to press backspace multiple times. Windows key plus shift plus S for immediate snipping tool that saves to your clipboard CTRL plus shift plus Windows plus B for soft graphic driver reset. Good for when you plug your laptop into a dock and it doesn't hook the monitors correctly, saves you having to open, close the lid or unplug, replug sometimes. What is the oddest thing that makes you orny? My wife, she is extremely odd. Sliding finger into that little dimple on the underside of a wine bottle never failed to give May a wonder and I have no explanation why. I worked in app for 18 months a while ago and I had to force myself to stay away from that area. Not me. But I had an ex who swore up and down that me touching her shoulders, even lightly, made hair extremely orny. I thought it was funny, but she was very adamant about me not touching her shoulders when we were in public. Heavy rain. I get a bit primal. Dunno why. This reminds me of this tweet from a girl who said that doing the dishes always makes her orny, because her ex-boyfriend used to reward her with ex. When a guy lowers the pitch of their voice when talking to me. Sometimes crossing my legs a certain way does tears of joy. White formal shirt on women. My own ick. It's odd because it doesn't seem to get anyone else orny. Women in formal clothes. Lingerie is cool and all. But a woman wearing a business suit? Ah damn. Probably common but still a little odd. I get so turned on when a man will whimper and moan for me. Something about how desperate it is. I love it. My partner signing something. Doesn't matter what he's signing, the action is just weirdly attractive el mao. What's sexy for a woman to do, but creepy for a guy to do? Walk around the house in just panties when my wife does it is sexy and freeing. When Edo it I get told I'm stretching out her underwear and ruining it, the double ucking standard. There are certain phrases that women can say that would be received very differently if a man were to say it. As an example, someone I know used to work as Avid Tech. They had workers come and go over the years, one was a high school boy. She told me Thetan his 18th birthday. She jokingly told him he was legal now, and everyone laughed. 
When she told me that story, she didn't understand how I thought it would go badly with the sexes reversed. Until we saw her new boss's daughter turn 18 and I told her, imagine how creepy it would be if I went up to your boss's daughter and told her, hey, you're legal now. Put things into their genitals. Wear only a men's shirt. Tell you they're wet. Throw their underwear at the guitarist. Slowly bending over to pick something up while giving you a wink winking face although I would find it funny I if a man did that in front of me. Walking around in their GF shirt with no pants. Say, I'm not wearing any underwear. Exist. Basically anything naughty done secretly and publicis ultimately more appealing to probably everyone if done by a woman and creepy if done by a man.